All right, Detective Columbo, this is your moment of glory. Here are seven really difficult cases for you to crack, each earning you one point. Are you a real detective? See how well you've done at the end. The king was 90 years old, and he had no sons, no daughters, no wife, and no siblings. He decided to choose the heir to the throne among all the children of his kingdom. The king collected thousands of seeds of various plants and ordered them to be given to every child in the kingdom. The one who grew the most beautiful plant would be the next ruler. After a few months, thousands of children with beautiful potted plants came to the royal court. The king looked carefully at each plant and finally chose a little girl who came in with an empty pot. Why did the king choose her? Answer: The king had given fake seeds to children, which means only one girl honestly completed the task and didn't switch the seed. A famous magician came to a small town. The staple of his show was the ability to stay underwater for a long time. When the show began, a water tank was placed on the stage. The magician said he could stay underwater for 10 minutes. Then he announced if someone from the audience could beat him, the magician would give them $10,000. Everyone stayed silent. But then a little boy came on stage. He said he could stay underwater for 15 minutes. Eventually, the boy won the money. How did he do it? Answer: The boy poured water into a glass, placed it on his head, and stood like that for 15 minutes. Then he grew up and became an attorney. A traveler arrived on a deserted island in a small boat. His life was full of sadness. He was poor, got fired from his job, his family turned against him. He wanted to live in the city no longer, so he decided to spend the rest of his life on the island. A week later, he found an underground cave there and a large ancient stone inside. Only one word was written on it. The traveler read it smiled with joy, and left the island. After a while, many people visited this place to read the magic word on the stone. Everyone who read it thought about their life from an unusual angle. When the rich read the word, they remembered what it was like to be without money and got upset. The poor became a little happier instead. Lovers felt sad, and single people smiled. What was written on the ancient stone? Answer: Temporarily. For centuries, nobody has lived in a huge creepy castle on the top of a cliff. People were afraid of this place, and for a good reason. But for fantastic creatures, it was a perfect home. One day, five zombies, four mummies, and one phantom decided to move there. There were many rooms inside the castle and the view from the windows was very beautiful. But there was one room there which no new residents could enter. What room was that? Answer: The living room. There were two knights in a faraway kingdom. The horses they rode were the fastest in the entire country. For many years, these knights had been competing with each other for whose horse is faster. When one knight won, the other was soon to even the score, and so their competition dragged on. One day, they got bored of competing. So one knight suggested, let's have a reverse tournament. The horse to reach the finish line first loses. The second knight agreed. 
When the king learned about their competition, he organized a tournament, invited many people to the royal court, and raised the stakes by promising a lot of gold to the winner. Finally, the long-awaited day arrived. People were looking forward to the start of the race. The knights took their places. Three, two, one, go. Nothing happened. The knights stood still. Everyone started laughing at first, but then got bored. And the knights still didn't move. Then an old man came out of the crowd. He approached the riders and whispered something in their ears. A few seconds later, the knights were already galloping to the finish line as fast as their horses could. The first knight won the race because he came in last. What did the old man say to them? Answer? Take the opponent's horse. And as a prize, the winner got some crummy seeds from the king to grow something beautiful. Two brothers live in the old house. The older brother has his own room, where the younger is prohibited to enter. The older brother always has the key to the room on him, and the younger wants to know what's in there. One day, the older brother went downtown to buy something and forgot the key on the dinner table. The younger brother took it and finally went to the secret room. He put the key in the lock and opened the door. It was dark inside, and he turned on the light. There was nothing special there – a wooden desk, a chair, and some documents. The brother didn't have time to look at them, because he heard the older brother return. He ran out of the room, turned off the light, locked the door, and put the key back on the table. The older brother took the key and went into his room. After a few seconds, he called his brother and asked why he had entered there. How did the older brother know this? Answer: He touched the light bulb and it was hot. Exam on the theory of probability has started in the college. The teacher has never been strict with students, and so she gives them an easy task. Each student got a white sheet of paper. There was a single question on it. What is risk? Students should give the best answer to this question as they understood it. The exam ended two hours later. All students passed it, but only one girl got the highest score. She wrote only one word on the paper. What was it? The correct answer is this. Now, let's sum up. 0 to 2 points. Eh, this is an average score, but you can do better. Solve more logical puzzles and develop your imagination. One day, this will come in handy. 3 to 5 points. Your logical abilities are really impressive. You have the advantage over most people. You would be a great detective or writer of detective novels. 5 to 7 points. If Sherlock Holmes lived in our time, he would definitely take you as a partner. You solve complex riddles like school tests. And most importantly, you love it, don't you?